Hello everybody, it's Chuck Thunder, and here we are in another game here. We are in the new Uncharted Waters Origin. Um, I've already done a review on this game, but I feel like I was a little hasty with my decision. I mean, I, it was a hot take more than a full review. Somebody made a really good point about how, like, this is probably more um, geared towards those who have played the games in the past prior to uh, Uncharted Waters Online, which is where most of my content is made. So, I think that this may be a much more in-depth, I'm going to call it playthrough, but we're going to play a little bit together. Um, and then see uh, what my opinions are throughout it and kind of get like a initial reaction in addition to what I've already given but also um, have more of a better understanding of how the game works than just me explaining it so that way you can see it and make more decisions based off of what you have concluded. Um, some of my opinions will still be the same like I'll tell you right now I don't like the significant amount of red dots already from just logging in. I get it that this is a mobile game as well, so it's going to have that daily login reward, the monthly login reward, completing basic tasks reward, daily task rewards. It's all part of the system, so I understand that that's like one of my biggest gripes, and the JRPG look of it, of looking at your character. Hey, are you interested um, in a juicy offer? It's like I don't quite understand who my character is. He's, you know, these are things in which that I have a lot of opinions about, but for the most part, um, the game play is what I want to focus on here today. Um, and I will make mentions of my issues as I go through them. So hopefully you like this episode. Please give it a like and thumbs up uh, and subscribe if you do want to see more content like this. And if this game ends up being great, then we'll play more of it. Um, but this uh, intro here, hopefully you guys like it. And I'm going to do a quick sound test and then we're going to get right back into it. Alright, so we made an adjustment here. Hopefully the sounds is not as loud as it was before, but we'll make adjustments as we record more of this game. So, let's get started. I've already played this game a little bit. You can tell I'm already level 4, and by level 4 I really kind of just went through the really basic introductory thing, kind of glanced through it all. I'm not here to show you how to do the tutorial. If you downloaded this game, you can play through it yourself and make your own determinations based off of that. But for right now, we're going to just play around a little bit and see where we end up. So this is my tune character. I guess you can call him the company leader, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, here are my quests on the side over here. We have multiple tabs here where you can see um, things on the map. Right now it's going to show my quest lines. These are the buildings I can go to. I guess that's the house I could eventually have. And um, I guess this is nearby companies. And that's my current location. So. You kind of just leave this up, kind of. All right. Um, this over here opens up my admiral's orders, which admiral's orders, if you remember the tutorial, they can be used um, during combat. Um, tri there's three different situations where they can be used, and I forget the three different I think combat, adventure, and trading. Sometimes they're only available to be used when you're trading. This requires a level 40, um, and whatever this is, I guess a rank two of a certain skill to do the selling part, increasing overcharge when selling trade goods by 7%. So for one hour I could increase my sales for almost 8%. And then here's a management um, I cannot use in the city, but decrease daily water and food costs by 30% for one hour. So that's like when you're out in sea, I guess. So that's what those are here, Admiral's orders. Here are... ...that are in play. Um, so... Uh, You'll see here there's the event is decrease hot time trade point standard, decrease trade points standard five five percent, increase high trade fish species discovery chance by ten percent, and because it's a beginner tax benefit of, of a region that you have a tax reduction of thirty percent. Um, you also have beginner fleet flight support, so fleet speeds up for increased beginner company experience by hundred percent, increase beginner building experience, gain an extra gain of fifty percent, so there's extra XP and then extra experience gain. I don't know what the difference is there. Build time is 50% cheaper, which we did uh, off camera a little before we did this uh, video. Um, beginner repair cost discounts are 10%. So there's a lot of little things, 17 different effects here. 
So, I mean, you can see what, like, the town gives you. This is a beginner area, so you don't have any issues being, you know, preventing you from doing anything here. Next is your fleet tab here. Now, there's probably multiple ways to get here. Your fleet tab allows you to see the three the ships you have in your fleet. So, fleet one is going to have my ship. I called it the rammer, because that's what it's designed to be. Call it a ship type of charger. Then the second ship here is my bark, it's an artillery ship. And my third ship is a um, melee ship. Um, so, I don't know how important that is right now, but each one has a different captain on it. We have Ali Vezas, Salim Jahan, and Yazid Shabazz. Um, Ali Vezas was the guy that I chose, that's my starting captain, hence the S rating already and you get the different ratings based off of I guess their skill levels. Um, I guess my biggest gripe so far is that this character Ali Vezas it was the one I selected but he's not the one that I'm currently playing or is he? I, I can't quite make sure make any uh, if ands or buts about it but anyways shows you your total fleet power here which adds up your total ships attack skill stuff so I'm wondering if we can change my ship out. Yes we can and I have the Brigantine. Ah, nice. So, um, the Rammer is a better ship altogether, so it's not something that we want to use at this moment. Um, what does this mean? Charger can be registered at the auction house. Okay, I see. I guess I can't register these at the auction house. Yeah, so that's what that little symbol means. Um, Anyway, I, mean, I like the Brigantine look better than the, the ship I currently have, but I made it for the sake of making it, and then we'll keep it in our inventory. If I register it, I think, um, yeah, then registering it, it registers it for, for sale. Um, but here, that is like a side-by-side -side comparison. It requires a higher level of um, battle, I guess, to use, but it's not quite the best trade ship. This is a better trade ship. Um, it's covering melee, you know, you get you your comparisons here, so don't know what these all mean in comparison to each other, but that's fine. So anyways, um, effects, I'll see what uh, perfumes or charges are increased by 0.2%, and negotiation success rate is 0.3%. Those are effects by, I guess, my fleet members. My expertise, uh, these are the different things that you can build expertise in, nature, aesthetic, scouting, supply, this based off of what your, um, I guess, um, fleet's expertise are. So each level affects the ability for them to, you know, do these things, whatever they might be. And languages known, so we have Turkish, Latin, and Arabic. I know two languages, this guy knows two languages, this guy only knows one language, um, and this guy here knows two languages, so at least we have all our languages covered here. Well, I don't know if it's all of them, but some languages covered. Okay, next here, this is, um, okay, so there's another way to get to this tab, so when we click a ship, uh, something like that. Yeah, ship info, which so we're looking at the ship itself. I see, that brings you to this tab, and then you can select these different things. Okay, so each ship individually, I can look at what they look like. Does it say it's 80% filled? Yeah, it's 88% filled, 91% filled, 61% filled, and that brigantine, which obviously doesn't have any captain or anything, it's just kind of sitting in my, sh my dock. Um, parts, you can add parts if there's an empty slot. You can click it uh, and say auto equip if you have anything. Um, I have no equipable parts for this particular things, but I can click this and I can say switch and I can switch to different things. Like as an example, here's one. I got two iron anchors, or I did, because I applied it to a different ship there to so like I could take them off and so on and so forth. Um, cabins, I have five subtle cannibal cabins. Um, I guess you can put different people in different um, locations and they will get better, certain benefits. Um, so, yeah, I don't have... I have one person here. Can I... Assign a mate applies to the cabin effects. Assign. See, I don't have enough mates. 
to do it. If I assign, I cannot empty. Cannot empty the captain's cabin for another ship. Of course, because he's a captain of a ship. Yeah, so this guy's the only spare dude, so I can get more mates. But for right now, can't add them. I guess when you get more mates, you can add them around. And then the ship's combat skills, um, which you can quick register them in. Oh, I see. by 50. I, I, you know, I really don't know, understand here. So we're just going to do that for now. It's, that's quick registering skills, whatever. All right, so that's it for that page. Now let's go to our your notifications. As there's things here, you'll see notifications. We have our daily gifts here, so we go to here. Uh, and I have two things, so you can hit receive for each, receive all. Received them both, so we can delete them all. This, this first red dot satisfied, second red dot. Okay, memoirs. Uh, how do I recruit this admiral? My tactics shall defeat all enemies. Why do they give me that information? I don't know. Oh, I see. Because if I have the skill, I can recruit these admirals. Okay, and then the exchange. One of the many currencies. One, two, three, four, five types of currency. I'm not sure, but they're showing me this new exchange situation. Okay, and then go to here, and you can get rid of these red dots. Uh, this is my next thing here, the Brigantine, which I could register, um, but I don't want to do that. I mean, I guess I could, because I'm not going to use it, and I could always build another one, but let's hang on to it. But I can't make the red dot go away. Why well, can't make it? I don't want to register it. Chance of a high grade explosion increase if I use each of them. I don't know. Let's just do it. I'm not going to use it. No longer be used. Okay. So where the hell did it go? It just disappeared. I guess when I start registering these, I guess I get bonuses. Yeah, I guess so. It doesn't show me what's registered. It just shows you. The last requirements. Okay, whatever. Blueprints, whatever. Okay, storage here now. Tools, materials. What did I get here? High adventure appointments. Certificate of an appointment certificate needed to promote to animals and mates and can be obtained as a reward from combat exploration and union requests. Okay, how do I use them? I don't know. And then I got all these other shipbuilding materials that I bought just to see if I could build another ship. But in order to build another ship, I need to do more stuff. Anyway, so uh, that's done. So we've explained most of the, the UI and what's here. The shipyard. <clears throat> um, uh, you can make this window go away every time if you click this. But I like this to remind me that I'm getting these effects. Um, I don't have any expertise level effects, but my language is giving me... 6% discount on these things. Welcome to our shipyard. Um, anyway, so it's recommending parts. You don't have to just do what they recommend, but you can do that if you want. Um, I was required to build the ship, so I want to know if I can build a ship here. Um, I've already built these two ships, so I don't get the first build experience for them, so let's see if I can build other things here. Uh, I don't have any blueprints. So I can't build that one. Can I build this one? Golden small keel. Um, nope. This, this headphone, I, I can't explain it. It's just like, it's got battery power. It's not dying. Anyways, so I don't know where I can get that one, so I'm not gonna bother with that ship. Uh, same thing with this one, golden small keel, golden small keel. This one required when I built it on regular small keel. Um, I could buy brigadine, but, but what about regular common blueprints? I don't know where you get them. 
I don't, I don't know. That, that means I can't buy anything. Because I don't know where to buy any of these common blueprints. Alright, well... I don't know. The screen shows the operation of various additional on the base attributes of the ship blueprint. Okay, so that's what the blueprint would be. But anyways, I can't build any ships because I don't have any blueprints, but that's going to be one of my things to do. Um, uh, I guess. I don't know. Parts shops. Repair, dismantle ships, modify. Requires blueprints, which I still still know how we get them. Welcome Whatever. So that's that. All right. So let's let's do some of the game now. Um, so we can't complete a ship at the shipyard. I need to build another one still. So use all artillery during naval combat. Explore land three times. Achieve fifty thousand dollars in total profit, which I did go and buy. Um, how do I see my current storage? Yep, yeah. and then tools, parts, cargo, and then here's my cargo. Trade goods, 50 out of 51 trade goods is all I think I can um, carry. So I bought as much as I could store um, for the most part. I can buy more food and I can buy more water, but and I can buy more cannonballs, but I can't get any more cargo. Oh no. Well, I guess that it's total space that you can fill, but food and water is going to be one of those things that needs to be um, adjusted. But we're going to leave it the way it is. We're not going to adjust anything. All right, so let's let's get to trading here. Achieve fifty thousand in profit. Um, now we have the items on us. We're not going to go here. So let's go to the port. Complete trade requests one time. Boy, I don't know what that really oh. means. Setting sail. It's a part now. Departure. Okay, I don't know what the difference between those two are. Supply. I have 12 days of water and food supplied. I have enough materials. I could do auto supply. Now I have 16 days. And I think they filled my ship up. Yeah. So they filled it up. That's fine. Don't need any repairs can't recruit any more crew. Okay, sells you, sells you minimums. I just have a little bit above the minimums, which is fine. I don't want to go filling it up too much. Alright, let's, um... Oh, let's let's sit sick. sail. Oh, I guess that button was going to fill me up and then set me out to sail. Okay, so let's depart now. I'm ready for my favorite part of the game. I don't care for so much about that. I care about this part. All right, there are no weather effects. It's a part one time. Nice. That that gave us a red dot. All right, so let's go someplace. Um, Thessalonsky. Let's go to Constantinople. It's a bit of a distance, but not terribly far. Onward. To the vast okay, one ocean. click is all it takes. Okay, the map is already showing us. Let's get into battle. No room for parley. We have more combat power. He's target to combat. Has I don't know if I should not have attacked him or not, but we just chose to. Alright, but Okay, combat battle. Now let's see if I remember the battle part. So they get the first move. He's moving into place. Everything. He missed, or I evaded. He's moving again. To get closer. An expert in close combat. And they're gonna do a deck battle here. Where's the information that shows the kind of deck battle? Okay, I lost one person. They lost 11. He's gonna move here. I'm assuming he's gonna try to use a cannon on one of my ships. Yep. Ooh, it did 61 damage. Okay. What do you need me to do? Training naval combat. Okay. 
In combats, excluding challenge modes, skirmishes, real-time combat, and powerful opponents, and guild assaults, you can use redo turn to go back with turn and redo a move to go back to a specific point within the current term. Each type of redo costs different currencies. Okay. The action order of allies is that can be viewed here. Combat proceeds by allies and then enemies taking turn based on the order of turn info. Combat proceeds to the next turn once all ally enemy units take action. Select a captain's portrait to display the fleet's info. During combat, all movement and attacks are based on hexagonal tiles. Yellow tiles with bold outlines of the ships that can take action. Red tiles with bold outlines of the ships that can be targeted. Blue tiles within outlines indicate where you can be moved to, and red tiles with outlines that can be attacked. So not necessarily with ships, but these have ships in them, so it's going to have a bolder outlines. Gotcha. Consuming resources to use skills, consuming, using combat items, and ending my turn. Okay, that's what those mean there. Skills that were saved from the ship's combat skill and can be used right away without accessing the skill list. Quick skills cannot be changed during combat, so I added them earlier. Artillery attacks consume ammo to damage the durability of enemy ships, therefore artillery attacks cannot be used without ammo. Firing within the range of the enemy's artillery will trigger retaliation fire from the enemy. Okay. Special parts. Why did I not have triggering retaliation fire? Special parts can allow ships to fire forwards or backwards. Certain ships have the ability to fire forwards or backwards without special parts. Melee attacks. We saw how that works. Can lose by nearby enemy ships and Damage can be increased by having larger crews on the attacking ship. Damage is inflicted upon both the enemy and the ally ship after a melee attack is performed. Okay, so everybody gets damage. Ram, dual, repair, or heal can also be used from the skills list. We know that. If there is an enemy ship within an attack range, your artillery melee and ram icons will appear. Press the ship that is marked by an icon and proceed to the attack immediately. Orders are exclusive. Admiral skills that can be learned higher levels since orders do not require a turn to use can be used at during any ally's turn. Combat orders consume morale. With more orders, commands require more. Morale can be gained through combat. The current morale is displayed as a gauge in below the order icon. Where is that highlight? Is that it? That could be it. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's what that is. Food, water, materials, ammo are all set to resources, but when this like food water, crews morale decreases. And ignoring this could lead to treason, ultimately causing your crew to flee from combat. The overall durability of the ships and crew can be viewed at once, and an objective can be viewed. Ship's durability and crew HP, if anything falls below zero, the ship sinks. When attempting to recover HP, they can only return to the state before the start of combat. Attempts to recover crew HP, they can only return to the state before the Okay, so you can't go beyond that. Select the ship's details can be viewed. Selected ship's current status and applied effects can be viewed. So, we those are the status effects. Change of the combat speed, we can make it two times. Right now, it's only two, uh, two times. Combat animations are skipped when using fast. Automatically proceed combat. Alright, can I'll I bring get the battle in? Victory. Okay. So, I'm in the move. He's at a disadvantage. So, I mean, we already did melee combat. Raise your weapon. So we'll just continue to huh. melee combat. No way. I think they sunk. I can't go down yep. like this. Okay. Just leave it. Just leave it to me. Now it's his turn. Can I, okay. Map. WSAD moves the map. Good to know. So that was both move and attack. Sorry about my headphones, guys, if you're getting so feedback. I'm going to replace these headphones after this. Alright, and then this ship, same thing. Move him there. And then once he's there, we'll have him attack this ship Let's from a distance. See who wins. Oh no, he rammed it. That was an insta-kill. That was nice. Worthwhile trade. A trade? That doesn't seem to be the appropriate response for what just occurred. So what do I get? Uh, by my days as an orphan. A 
like finally an investor. Who who does who's investing in me now? I just destroyed everybody. Anyways, uh, everybody went up a level, I think, in some way or shape or form. Uh, I got three thousand eight hundred and two ducats, and I think I got these items. I got rewarded with more things. Whatever. All right, so I got some stuff. A little cloudy. No, well, Onward let's go to this the way. Vast ocean. So that was a, a fun little battle. Looks like there's a pirate over there. There he is. Decrease entering. Oh, that was really fast. I didn't see what that effect was. Wow, that island seemed to pop up out of nowhere. I could see it on the map coming. Okay, cool. Not enough storage space, okay. So that was like, I guess, items and stuff that I could... Alright, so that's cool, that does make it easier. Uh, I see that this has like a quest uh, thing on top of it, so that's why we're going to go there. I was going to go to Constantinople, but that doesn't seem to be what was important. Um, it's probably for one of the quests, and I just don't know which one it's for, so that's the one we're going to do. HW, does that stand for headwind? I guess, I don't know. That shows my ship speed, wind speed, and the wave level, I guess. Okay, we made it here. Onward to the vast ocean. Can we get into the city? Okay. We're going to Thessaloniki. Alright, pulling up. We're in Thessaloniki now. Learning is the joy of life. Okay, this guy got an adventure level. Insurance money issued. I received 81 ducats for insurance. Why? Maximum compensation. Oh wait. Alright, that went away real quick. So that's another issue I'm having. <laughs> I had so many things to read, and if it's not going to be up long enough, I'm going to get upset. <laughs> anyway, so let's take a look at our achievements here. We departed one time from port, and we are going to get an Appalachian info for Rookie Admiral. Obtain additional company combat and trade for 0.5%. Sure. I don't know exactly what that means, but I'm sure we'll take it. And then, what happened here? Now we have more things in our storage, so we got gear. Uh, here is the Alchemy House. Expertise ramming, so let's equip it. Uh, I guess I want to choose him, because he's run using the ramming ship. So that makes ramming better, I guess. Materials, we got a bunch of materials here. Small gun port, training gun port. I don't know which one's better. Blueprints. Okay, so in battles you get blueprints, I see. And a Hansa Cog blueprint. Alright. Galley blueprints. Nice. Okay, good to know. Cargo, we did pick up one herb vinegar. So now I'm learning that you need to leave a little bit of cargo space. Um, just for when you do do battling. Alright, so now we're going to do complete trade. Oh, are you setting sail? No, 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 where are we going? Why do I want a complete trade request? Oh, it's a trade request. Alright, so anyways, let's go here. Welcome to the market. Can I get 50,000? I'm losing money if I go here. I 
bought it for 71 and then there's going to be a surcharge for 74 No, that's what it sells for us. What did I buy it for? I mean, that's what it's selling for, but what did I buy it for? It'd be nice if it kept that information. Whatever. So, no, it's not worth selling anything here for only 200 Alright, so we're not selling anything to you. Um, Alright, so I guess we're not doing anything here. Why did it have me come here? Welcome to our shipyard. All right, so we got the blueprint now. Okay, headphones caught him back, um, but I don't have the appropriate blueprints here, so. I could purchase the bark blueprint now. Okay, so still need more blueprints, but whatever. And what else can I build here? It seems to be suggesting that I can. Where? There's a red dot. Where is the red dot suggesting me for? I don't understand. Why? Why? I can't build anything. Can't build that. Can't build that. Can't build that. I can't build anything. It says, oh wait, this one says it's buildable. But why is it buildable? I thought I needed a small ship comma blueprint. Whatever, I can do it, so let's just do it. It'll be four minutes and it'll be done. Quick build. Uh, no, we'll just wait the five minutes. <laughs> Alright, so... Okay, so I'm, I'm getting distracted. Oops. Get that back over here. That doesn't belong here. Alright, so. I guess that's all we can do. I guess we could buy. Just complete trade requests. So. Oh, are you setting sail? No. Well, I'm gonna set sail, but I'm not gonna refill. Let's ch check our crew levels here. We're okay. You could use a little bit extra crew. How do I get more crew for you? How do I choose the ship? I want the crew to go to here. I don't want just to go to the first. to go into that ship. Well, how can I have chosen a different ship? That's weird. Oh, redistribute crew. Jeez. Alright. There we go. Alright. Now we're going to depart. to the vast ocean. Okay, you didn't attack me. I clicked this, and that's the quest it's automatically doing for me. Okay, so that's interesting. Ah, man, this looks great. I love it. When you don't do anything when you're battling, or you're not clicking any buttons, you get these beautiful cinematic travel uh, 
I don't know what to call them, travel uh, montages. And it looks great. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, beautiful. I guess that's some sort of effect I'm getting for a headwind or something. Back to Athens for whatever reason. Uh, I want to know why it brought me here when I clicked that. Like, am I trying to sell to Athens? I'm just a little confused. Yeah, it's bringing me to this particular location. Complete a trade request. Oh, it's not making trades. Okay, I see. Did you get rid of the pirates? Now we're getting rid of them in a moment. I see. Please hurry. This guy's my least favorite character of all. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. Hello, you you're a fool here. here. Request? All right. So requests. There we go. Trade requests. Use artillery during naval. Okay, so that is the quest request. So that is the trade request. I'm using battle skills, whatever. So let's get back out there. Now that I've clicked that, I'm wondering what it's going to do. Okay, it's just automatically going to my first target. Okay. That's a little too jiggly. But okay, but let's do the battle. Go that Begin combat. She's a craftwork merchant, so I'm choosing to battle her for whatever reason. Okay, that pops up really fast. That also pops up really fast. Fire everything! Okay. I see. So that's the retaliating fire. When you fire, they fire back. Ready? Fire! Yeah. So we both take damage. I see. Well, they're taking damage. Alright, I did take damage. But I guess it was out of range for me. I'll bring you I'll bring you certain victory. Your weapons. Battle. Okay, she did. So that was her health directly. This is her overall fleet's uh, health, I guess. Okay, she's down. What's our what's our strategy? Cannon fire. Fire the cannons. I guess it doesn't fire back. That's okay. So it has come to this. Let's Here's see the ram. Win. Nice. How pathetic. Okay, let's beat her. Trade. Another worthwhile trade. <laughs> Whatever that means. No changes have been made to the fleet, so nobody leveled up, but I did get um, some more items here. And other rewards. Okay, so I can see there's some benefit to attacking. We got lowest trade appointment certificate. Okay. Okay, I got a weapon. So we're definitely going to equip that. Now that I'm out at sea and I just did that battle, I finished the quest, yes. And I got these rewards. Onward to the vast Interesting. Okay. Free. Okay. Cool. Alright. I'm learning to like this a bit. Alright. I don't know if that did anything. Zoomed in, we're going back here. 
Due to the pirates, no, we're getting rid of this. Hey, She's hurry. Okay. Are you here for a new request? I thought we just finished the request. Sell trade goods. Okay. We should pause the voyage. Okay. Um. Sell trade goods. Welcome to the market. All right. <laughs> Basics of trades, chapter two. Twenty years ago. Could it be <laughs> Good. I must be cautious. Uh, I, I can't <laughs> do all this reading. Huh? Lit rock salts. Wow. No, I don't need to. I can sell you this. It's gonna make a profit. So let's do it. <laughs> okay, thanks, dude. Okay, we sold. So we got sold one trade good, okay. And we sold fifty we have fifty thousand more profit to be made, okay. Complete trade request one time. I did that I thought. Oh no, that wasn't a trade request. Oh, so he Are does quest, but he doesn't request? do trade request. That's a trade request. I see. Gotcha. Alright, so what's unavailable? Okay, fine. So, selling trade goods is our main thing. Now, I started the ship in a different town. Should be ready now, right? Welcome to our shipyard. Build status. In this alone. Would you like to receive the ship that has been built for 11 of those? No, 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 no. We'll just go there. Alright, so let's get... Oh, I see, that was easier than having to go to the shipyard itself. And cut an achievement reward. Oh. Alright. We know we have to do that. Here's our... As you can see, I feel like I'm spending most of my time achieving my rewards. It's like every day there's one of these rewards to get. Maybe it'll be less common as you level up more, but man. Oh, it seems to be all of them. Alright. Build. We know I can there's always a different tab that leads to the same thing. I know, I'm gonna go get my ship right now. Let's equip this. So, old Shamshir and Epi. Dual tag gear, melee. Uh, okay, so it's not any better. So it's no different than what we got. So what can I do with it? Can I sell it? Okay. Alright. Alright, so let's go get this ship. So hopefully this is starting to make a little more sense for everybody. Uh, my baby's crying, so it's probably a good time to stop here. Let's um, let's get ourselves back on the ocean here, and then we'll go pick up our ship, and we'll take care of everything from there. Um, I'll be right back after I finish settling my son, and we'll see if maybe we can get one more recording in here um, in a second. So let's go back to Thessaloniki, and 
should just be heading there. Very cool go to city. Alright, we'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, we're back. We just settled our son down here, so. Alright, so let's get our bark. We'll just call it. Yeah, bark too is fine. Show you a little animation of the bark being finished. Tiny ship, but hey. I guess those are like the maximum skills you can get. I didn't get the best artillery protection. I don't know what 57, I guess that's what its effective rating is. I don't know. But cool. Welcome to our shipyard. Okay. Stored in port. Can be registered at the auction house. I don't want to rebuild it. What do I want to do here? Stop releasing bark and leave the screen. Okay. So I made a ship. Better ship if we keep this up. Various benefits that would be right of your great help in combat and also sell faster speeds, you know, carry more trade goods, yes, so I'll have to be diligent with my building ships and earn a lot of money. Let's go face those pirates. Okay, so let's go look at our ships. So the bark that we have here, can we switch it for the other bark? So side by side comparison. Same ship, same everything. Crew size is smaller. Its minimum crew is up. But interesting because the crew size is larger, but we get more durability out of the ship. Vertical sails we lose, and horizontal sails we gain. Mobility is lower, melee protection is lower, but ram protection is up. I don't know that it matters that much. So, don't really know what to do with it, so. Yeah, I'm okay, I, I don't. Switch. Now we're switching them back. Okay, so it's, it's a more powerful ship, so let's just use it, I guess. It increases our overall combat damage, so whatever. I mean, what do I do with the ship I do have? I guess, oh, we already talked about this. I don't know how to get rid of these things. Welcome to our shipyard. Okay. Modified Robinet. I don't know if that does anything. Additional artillery attack. I guess you gotta know. I don't need to repair any of my ships. Okay. We could dismantle the bark we bought. Or no, dismantle the other one. I guess we get parts for it. Yeah. So that's always a good thing, I guess. So modifying is an option at some point. Welcome to our shipyard. Cool. Welcome to our shipyard. Okay. Let's go sell. I mean, but if we can sell anything, I have no Welcome idea. Welcome to the market. Yeah, we could sell parchment for a reasonable selling price. Profit. Nice. Okay. Okay, I don't need to check. I hate that I have to check to get these blue dots to go away. This is what I need to do. Ugh. Okay. Um, 
to sell trade goods we did. Let's go back and buy to the market. trade goods. Let's buy some. So if it works like the other ones, anything that's like lower than 90%, lower than 100% means I can sell it for higher. So somewhere else likely. So let's buy. I buy 10 of them. I can. And oregano, can we buy like two? Cool. Slot will exceed by one purchase. The cargo's hold slot will be exceeded by five of purchase. New. No. So let's do. How do I know? Oh, I see there. Okay. Let's go back out to sea and do the. Setting sail. How many days of sailing do I have? It didn't tell me. Whatever. Okay. Bit of a load screen. No sailing conditions. Onward right. to the vast ocean. Free naval protection I've sent. Do you have to be from here too? No, we want that. <laughs> Alright. So he's taking us right to the rookie pirates wherever they are. Does it show us where they are? Okay. South of Athens. What does this symbol mean? Tell me. Okay, I just guess I set an anchor. Onward to the vast ocean. I guess that's what that means. <laughs> is that a speed boost? I guess that's what that is. Yeah. Yeah, that was like a headwind that I caught that made me faster. That's kind of cool. Hatchet robbers. Now we're in dangerous waters. Fleet speed. I see. That was like all changed. I don't know. It pops up for such a short amount of time. I wonder if it's something I could edit. Something that like lets me choose. Target found. You can now you can press other companies you encounter while sailing to interact with them, including engagement and combat. We've already learned that. See the pirates? My hands are sweating. Shouldn't get nervous already. You're kind of some amazing pirates. We'll just go bigger. This is the info of the targeting fleet. He's a grenadier. That's their damage. Distance of the target. Got that. Following target. Attempting to engage the con target. Let's see if there are any other fleets nearby. No care. So players. Other pirates. Okay, so, yeah, things coming and going for the region, I guess. Let's go to battle. No room for parley. There's just one ship? Okay, yeah, should be no problem. Combat. Hey! Come on out already! Hundred duel. Do I accept? Okay. 
So this is different than a battle. This is a duel. Wait. It's in reverse. This is Yazid Shabazz. That's the pirate. Why are the names flipped? Okay. I guess it's like a high attack or a low attack. Let's go for a low attack. Uh, I guess it's a one in three chance. Worthwhile trade. No matter what battle we're doing, it's always a trade. Oh, look at that, we got rifles. More food. Uh, some of this, whatever that is. Now, I said, I saw something about crew. Did I steal their crew? <laughs> Sounds good. Let's go I back. won't be defined by my days as an orphan. Max I'm energy. going to become rich and fulfill my dream. I won't be defined by my days as an orphan. Onward to the Kay. vast ocean. Let's explore whatever the city is first. get something out of that? I have no idea. Constantly claiming things. Enter a new city. What did we discover? Candia? Cool. Shipyard cost twenty percent more here. Learning is the joy of life. All right. One percent discount. Yeah, so we're not going to get. Welcome to the market. Okay, so medicine, sundries, and textiles get a bonus. So pretty much everything here sells pretty good, so we'll go ahead and sell, sell, okay, I guess if we sell these things we get a benefit, interesting, okay. So, we can't be helped. Imagine <laughs> we could sell this for 9% more. Would you like to negotiate? Sure. No, I, I failed. I guess. Well, that's fine. Alright. I do like that I can play this one-handed. Very casual. Alright. So, let's buy some things from here. These are much higher because they need it. So, that's why I don't want it. Current located city is monopolized by guild. Okay. So we could buy things from here. Let's buy marble. 
marble statues. Let's buy some olives. And let's buy some of that. Okay. Just because we need to continue to do our quests here. Alright. Explore land three times, okay? Setting sail. Oh, I can just hand it in anywhere. Hello, are you here for a new request? Okay, no, these are just new requests from different locations. I'm just claiming all of these. This is what you feel like you're doing all the time. It's just constantly claiming rewards and privileges. What the heck? There's a reward and a privilege for everything. I wish I could receive them all separately, uh, like all together at once. None of this, like, individual. There's so many. Okay. I think we finally received all these rewards. Journal, Discoveries, Architecture, Candia. Alright, that didn't do anything other than just make the thing go away. Alright, I don't need to do this. I'm not, I'm not bothering. This is freaking annoying. Alright. Just try to ignore the dots. <laughs> Chuck, just try to ignore the dots. Alright, let's go to the... Let's go to Athens. Hand in that quest. Oh. You're setting sail. <laughs> I don't need to see these silly... Oh my goodness. Is that all they're here for? Just to annoy me? Alright. Onward to the vast ocean. So, anyways, we'll finish this last quest here and you know, see what we finish that and then we'll while we're sailing here we'll give you guys my finished more polished opinion better than it was the last time I'm, uh, my opinion is improved for sure I definitely enjoy the game for the point and click ability um, and the, the looks it's great I mean it's a great looking game I don't really care for some of the nuanced things and more annoying things but if you look past them you got a really good game on your hands I just don't know what it's gonna be like in the long run if it'll be a particularly um, grindy game for end game stuff and frustrating in that regard. Right now I'm kind of enjoying the the opening experience. A um, little bit of gripes here and there. Notifications going away too quickly. Too many little red dot notifications. Kind of creepy, annoying dialogue characters. Um, but otherwise, an overall positive experience, I think. Uh, now, does it do it for me in regards as like a replacement for the Uncharted Waters Online? No. But it definitely adds another experience to the game, that I th to the series that I think is po uplifting and positive. Do I think the game is going to be a popular one? Not at all. Um, I think we clearly have a lot to achieve in order to get that kind of a game. Uh, there's a lot of pirate games out there and they really focus on the naval part, focusing on the adventure and the trade part is more of my hopes um, <laughs> for this so uh, let's see how this goes in the long run I'll play a bit more but right now I think the overall experience is positive and I hope everybody liked the video I'm, I'm sorry about the last one being kind of um, 
brash. I still kind of feel the way I feel about it. I still think that it's got this... Pit. I would never play this on mobile. It's too many things to click to play on mobile. I would only ever play it on the PC. Hello, are you uh, here graphically, it looks better on the PC anyways, too. So, um, But yeah, if you guys want to try this out, it's free, free to play. There is purchasing parts where you can buy the different currencies, but it seems like it's going to be an overall positive experience for me as I start to play this more. But hopefully everyone liked the video. Give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe, um, and we'll, uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Whether it's this one or the previous generation of the game, we will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.